Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, James Finney, coming at you this Thursday morning from the balcony above the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. And before the session kicks off, I've got to say, I hope you guys all had a very fun, very safe, and very family-friendly and friend-friendly, if that's even a, a term, holiday weekend. Well, holiday weekend, extended holiday weekend. Some people were off on Monday, some people were off on Wednesday. I wasn't for both, as you guys know, but I'm ready to get the remainder of this week started. We have two full days left today and tomorrow. Let's now take a look to see the markets are shaping up to start off this, the second to last trading session of the week, which, by the way, is looking to be off to a bit of a rough start. Now stocks sliding this Thursday after better than expected jobs data increased investor anxiety around the state of the U.S. economy and the path of interest rates. Private sector jobs increasing by 497,000 in June, according to payroll processing firm ADP. It's the biggest monthly gain since July 2022, and the increase was more than double the Dow Jones estimate of 220,000. However, traders may now be expecting a hotter number leading to the Fed resuming its hiking campaign this month. After a pause at the June meeting, traders are pricing in an approximately 92% chance of a hike at its central bank's meeting later on this month, according to the CME Group's FedWatch tool. And in corporate news, JetBlue Airways tumbling more than 5% after the company announced it will end its partnership in the Northeast with U.S. American Airlines to focus on its partnership with Spirit Airlines. And lastly, some advice. It's humid out there. Stay cool, New York.